You finish setting up the tent, making use of the light at the end of the day. Our backpacks disassembled, sleeping bags and other personal items placed carefully around the interior. A portable lantern hanging from the low-lying ceiling, a flashlight, our books, and book lights all set out. The wind has died down, the birds quiet. The shadows from the peaks behind us grow longer on the mountainside we face. The late summer flowers glow in the last burst of light, their scent mingling with drying grasses and pines. We've hiked all day and our legs ache, our eyes weary, our backs sore. The landscape around us slips into night and we crawl into bed. We zip ourselves into the small tent, listening to a few bugs buzzing and bouncing off the tent as they attempt to get to the light inside. With the night's darkness, a damp chill settles into the meadow where we camped. I lie on my left side, all but my head and my right hand outside my sleeping bag. My book light dimly illuminates the page I read. The sound of a flipping page interrupts the stillness. You are sitting up, reading as well. It doesn't take long for my blinks to lengthen and I start to doze. I hear you shut your book and put it away. I open my eyes, click off my book light, mark my page and slide my book into my backpack. You face me on your side, your right hand under your right cheek. Are you cold? A little. I have an idea. You unzip your sleeping bag, unzip mine, then zip our bags together. You pull me over to you and I wrap my right arm over your waist and around to your back. You do the same with your left arm. You move your head forward and kiss me. I move my right hand up from your back to your left cheek, holding you as we kiss. You mirror my action, caressing my right cheek. My leg moves in between yours and yours in between mine. We are wrapped up into each other, keeping each other warm. No campfire needed.